I now knew what I was. Knew who I was. I had been shown Earth as it appears from space, looking back upon itself. Upon myself. A world so vast, a wideness so lonely, a web so fragile. I'm Robert J. Sawyer. I'm a science fiction writer from Toronto, and my latest book is called Watch. Watch is the middle book of my trilogy. The books are called Wake, Watch, and Wonder, so they're the WWW trilogy about the World Wide Web. Watch is about the World Wide Web gaining consciousness and the response of the United States government to that happening. They're very concerned about it being a threat to the sovereignty of the United States, to the privacy of the human race, and are worried about what it might do in relation to the allies of the United States. It's a novel about dealing with a deep philosophical question. How will we respond when we, homo sapiens, are no longer the most intelligent thing on planet Earth? About 15 years ago, I saw a little squib in a magazine called Science News that said, sometime early in the 21st century, the World Wide Web will have as many interconnections as a human brain has synapses. The World Wide Web will wake up and start to wonder, who am I? They'll do that famous cogito ergo sum, I think, Therefore I am. I really exist. And what's all this around me? That's going to happen for sure, I think. And the purpose of this trilogy is to give us a little bit of time to think about it before it actually is a reality. But they are there. I am there. And I had things I needed to do. My favorite character in the novel is Caitlin Dechter. She's 15, she's blind, and she's a math genius. In Wake, uh, the first book in the trilogy, Caitlin gets a post-retinal implant that allows her to see at the age of 15 for the first time in her life. This kind of technological miracle is happening all the time now. The world is always getting better thanks to science and technology. I do think that technology is our savior. I'm trying to show that in these novels, and I am hoping that people will take away from this a renewed comfort with what science and technology have done.